In the news today, Nipissing students are giving back to the community. The North Bay Public Library opened a new learning disabilities resource center, and the college gymnasium is ready for action. I'm Sadie Zalowski, and this is Canador Newsnet. Our top story. Schoolwork didn't stop Nipissing students from helping out their community. As Andrew Hawkridge reports, there have been, they have been giving back generously to the community. The students of the Nipissing residences have been busy at work the past couple of weeks. Students from both the North Bay and Muskoka residences have been hard at work by raising awareness and funds for some great causes. Nipissing Residence Complex, which prides itself on being a welcoming community, had students volunteer to participate in great events such as the CIBC Run for the Cure last month. Residence Coordinator Sterling Webb Crow and Community Advisor Casey Chapman believe the key to success is to participate in these special events. Um, to get involved and to participate, uh, it's an opportunity for them to meet new people, uh, to find people with similar interests, and to also engage in the community at large, sort of, we call it the total campus experience, so getting involved in things outside of the classroom to make this really a home for the next eight months. Sterling said that this year students are more open to participate in community activities, which is a key factor in what the residence offers. So participating, you know, is just getting that awareness um, and just making whatever contribution you can, whether that's in time or money or just even being there and experiencing it. The recent run for the cure and support of breast cancer research was a crowning moment for the residents' life team and their communities. The two campuses raised a combined total of $5,000. Each year it, it varies depending on the initiative, but we tend to do incredibly well uh, in gathering funds. Um, for example, even in Muskoka, uh, they don't get a lot of attention usually, but their car wash event alone raised over $1,000. The Run for the Cure team, which was led by Casey, was awarded a plaque and a banner for most funds raised by the school team. Well, for the Run for the Cure, since I was the lead on that one, um, the most rewarding experience is definitely seeing all the students getting involved and seeing them show up on run day. So they're always very supportive of the smaller events um, as we're leading up to it. But what is really most rewarding is to see them there. And then, especially since we won school team, seeing their reaction and seeing how proud they were of what they'd accomplished with everything. In the future, they hope to build between study time and fun time. And with the holiday season fast approaching, be prepared to see more students getting involved in the community. For Canada Newsnet, I'm Andrew Hawkridge. Kyle Myward is outside in this beautiful weather and has the current conditions. Let's go outside and see how gorgeous it is out there. Kyle? Thanks, Sadia. It's a beautiful day outside right now. It's a little bit cloudy, but that doesn't mean it's not a warm one. Let's take a look at what to expect tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, expect some light rain. It's going to get dipped down to about 7 degrees. Tomorrow, expect some variable cloudiness. There's a 30% chance of rain, so you can probably leave that rain jacket at home. And we have a warm high of 14 degrees. So we're experiencing some above average temperatures for this time of year, so it's a great chance to get outside and enjoy those few fall colors that are still hanging on to those trees. Back to you, Sadia. Thanks, Kyle. Here's a great deal for students with a tight budget. There's a new student pricing at the Capital Center. It's called Yugo, and it means a deep discount on entertainment. Never complain that there is nothing to do. The Capital Center makes it easy for students to partake in fun events in the heart of the city. If the price is holding you back, they also offer student discounts through the YouGo service and even some volunteer opportunities that will have you enjoying the show. Oh, sorry. So opportunities on performance sites where you could be a ticket taker, an usher, uh, as well as opportunities where we cater events and we need bartenders and servers. Um, those I'd say are in the most demand right now are the bartenders and servers. One, one of the great perks about being a volunteer at the Capital Center is that um, during your shift you often get to watch the performance. Um, maybe not the full thing, but they definitely make it uh, accessible for you to enjoy the arts, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, it would be great to have you down here. Whether it be attending a free movie screening this Friday, a ballet workshop Wednesday, or a piece of the Tim Burton exhibit followed by the movie Sleepy Hollow, all that matters is your preference. 
Whether it be a production, concert, or show, the Capitol Center makes it easy for students to enjoy art and culture in North Bay. For Canada Newsnet, I'm Sadia Zalowski. It's, l it's Learning Disabilities Awareness Month. To celebrate, North Bay's Public Library has opened a new resource center. Brittany Whitmill has more on the story. After only getting the idea in August, the library put a lot of thought into getting the resource center up and running for the public. Having their opening on Tuesday, North Bay is now the second city in Canada that has a disabled learning resource center. Helping the seed grow, Mayor Al McDonald was proud to see the opening of the new addition to the library. It's the first time in the province of Ontario that we have a resource center right here in the library of any city in the province. Second uh, location in Canada, so we're very proud of that. Uh, but it also opens it up uh, to get this information out to parents that uh, need this information and it's an awareness piece too to let everybody know about learning this. The Disabilities Resource Center is here to provide reliable information about learning disabilities. The social media and marketing assistant Kelly Van Boskirk joined to help provide these helpful tools for those who need them. North Bay Committee, um, so and with the United Way as well. So it was. I was very excited when the idea was first um, brought forward by them because it was something I could get involved with um, on on many many levels. So we've been we we pulled out resources the library has. We've put in new resources, and it's just going to be a, just an evolving resource center uh, for parents and community members. Teachers, parents, and all members from the community can come to North Bay's Public Library to find out reliable resources for learning differences. For KNR Newsnet, I'm Brittany Whitmell. Dalton McGinty shocked Canadians when he resigned from his position of Ontario's Premier earlier this week. We asked students in the halls what they thought of him stepping down. So, you know, Dalton McGinty stepped down. You think this is a good thing for our country and why? Yeah, I think it's good. You know, he's been there. He's been the leader for like 16 years and he's been head of uh, like eight. So I think we need some fresh fresh ideas and some new people in there. And I think uh, we got to change the way we're going right now and get some new thoughts and processes going on. Uh, I think it's a good thing. I think it's time for change in Ontario. Uh, we don't really have an opinion on the whole matter. We, we think that it might be a good thing for our country, but we're just going to wait and see like how it all how it unfolds. Yeah. Coming up next, Kyle Mywart takes a look at the weather and answers the question, will it be nice for Canada's Reading Week? Now it's time to take a look at the local and national weather forecast with Kyle Mywart. The weather is beautiful outside today. Is there any chance of us keeping the sun for Canada's Reading Week? Thanks, Sadia. It sure is a nice day out there. Things are looking good for the next week. There's going to be a little bit of clouds, a little bit of rain, but nothing too crazy, and there'll be some great weather to get outside and enjoy. Let's take a look at your national forecast. Starting out on the west coast in Vancouver, Right now they're sitting at a warm 11 degrees, which is about seasonal, which carries off pretty much across the whole country. Moving to Edmonton, they were chilly this morning, zero degrees, but they're getting plenty of sunshine. Again, seasonal for this time of year. In Regina, one of the cooler spots of the nation today, four degrees, plenty of sunshine, but it's going to be overcast in the afternoon. Moving out to the east, Toronto today was our warm spot of the country, coming in at a balmy 15 degrees. And on the east coast, St. John's, Halifax, the Newfoundland area, they're experiencing some high winds and cooler temperatures, about 9 or 10 degrees, and that's as tropical storm Raphael moves through. Let's take a look at your North Bay extended forecast. This afternoon, the clouds are going to hang around. It's going to be 19 degrees and a windy one, so make sure you bring out the windbreaker. Tomorrow, nothing but sunshine and a balmy 16 degrees. Get outside and enjoy some of those fall colors while you still can. Moving into the weekend, Saturday, there's going to be plenty of rain. It's going to be cool, about 12 degrees, and that will continue over to Sunday. The skies are going to clear up a little bit with scattered showers throughout the day. And finally, on Monday, the sun will be back. Get outside and enjoy it. It's going to be 13 degrees. Back to you, Sadia. Thanks, Kyle. Well, let's hope that sun stays out a bit longer so students can enjoy it on their reading week. After the break, Mitch Dietrich has sports. 